welcome back to another video here upon the old YouTube channel. Got a fun top 10 video for y'all today. I'm going to be going over 10 of my all-time favorite vocal performances. I don't know if these are necessarily my 10 for sure favorites. These are just some of the first 10 that I thought of. Although, I have a lot of honorable mentions, so maybe I'll do a part 2 to this. Who knows? But, with all the bullshit out of the way, we're going to get into the first 10 I thought of. So these are really in no particular order, although I can point out uh, my three or maybe even my top five. They're going to be in order by the uh, alphabetically by the band and artist name. So number one is definitely going to be an oddball pick since I'm a huge rock and metal fan, as y'all know. But I went with an Adele song. You know, I'm not a huge Adele fan by any means, but I do think she has some really good songs that I enjoy quite a bit. And I definitely acknowledge she's a fantastic vocalist and one of the all-time greats. And I went with the song, Someone Like You. And this is easily my favorite Adele song. A really, really great vocal performance. Talk about a vocal performance where you're going all over the place in really, really high notes. Try singing along to this song if you have a hit, hit country accent like mine and cannot sing worth a shit. It will sound terrible. It's like singing along to, you know, Bohemian Rhapsody or some Queen Freddie Mercury shit, you know. It's, it's just very, very hard to do. So this is a vocal performance I really, really like. Conveys of the, the emotions of the song real well. And it is number one for this video. So let's get to my number two. Number two would definitely be in my top five for sure. And that is going to be the Lost Song Part 2 from Anathema. This isn't my favorite Anathema song, but it's definitely within my top three. Probably my third favorite. And uh, I love the vo vocal performance in this song. This is another female vocalist uh, performance. Her name is Lee Douglas, who joined the band in their later part of their career. And this is easily my favorite vocal performance from her. She kills it on uh, this song. I don't know what the song is about, but I feel like the lyrics have some deep meaning to them. They're really cool. I really love the piano and acoustic guitar in it. Definitely back up and add to the mood real well. And that vocal performance is also going all over the place, just like the Adele one. Really wicked stuff right here. So the Lost Song Part 2, definitely an underrated uh, song by them and an underrated band. Definitely go check it out if you haven't listened to it before. And that is going to be my number two. Obviously, being a big fan of Boston, I had to include a Boston song for sure. And, you know, I picked, I decided to go with my favorite uh, Boston song, which is Peace of Mind. Although you could probably argue there are some better Brad Delp vocal performances spread across the first two albums specifically. But Brad Delp from Boston is an incredible vocalist. One of my favorite male vocalists for sure. He just kills it on everything he's on, especially those first two Boston albums that debut and Don't Look Back. But Peace of Mind is in my top 20 favorite songs of all time, so I figured I'd had to include it on this uh, list. He just kills it on here. You know, these are some of the greatest singers of all time, in my opinion. And, you know, Brad Delp definitely very highly regarded. And it's a shame he didn't really have a big solo career or anything besides Boston. Because I feel like he definitely could have. Because he is that good of a vocalist. Just go listen to Boston's first two albums and you'll know what I'm talking about. So, Brad Delp, uh, Peace of Mind by Boston. That is going to be number three. And now we have another really good modern singer, just like Adele. And that is Chris Stapleton, one of my all-time favorite newer artists for sure. Probably my second favorite under Tanner Estery. But I chose my favorite Chris Stapleton song for this video, which is Drunkard's Prayer. I really love this song quite a bit, and it has one of the best Chris Stapleton vocal performances, in my opinion. Although everything he's on sounds really, really great, because he's a fantastic, you know, country blues vocalist. Mostly blues, I would say, as far as vocal ability go, but they label him as country or whatever. But Drunkard's Prayer, a really, really cool song, a really cool emotional song. He just gets it real high up on there in the chorus, and that's part of the reason why I really dig this song quite a bit, because of his vocal performance. So Drunkard's Prayer from Chris Stapleton, that is going to be number four. Now for number five, we have my favorite tune from Dream Feeder, and I chose The Spirit Carries On, uh, since it is my favorite Dream Feeder song, and James Labrie is just a fantastic vocalist. Uh, this pick definitely makes this list diverse as hell because we have, you know, Adele, Boston, Chris Stapleton, now Dream Feeder of all things. Definitely diverse uh, deal, but it's good to be diverse in music, in my opinion. I've always felt like I've liked a bunch of other different things. But The Spirit Carries On has always stood out to me as his best vocal performance. My second favorite by him would definitely be the one in Another Day off their first album, or actually their second album, technically. 
Uh, but, you know, James Labrie has just so many really wicked vocal performances. It's definitely hard to choose, but The Spirit Carries On has always been my favorite song by them, so I figured why not choose that one. And so The Spirit Carries On from Dream Theater is going to be at number five. And now we have a tune from Evanescence, and I chose My Immortal, which is probably their biggest song outside of Bring Me to Life. Now, Evanescence is a band, you know, I really don't care all that much for. Although, I will acknowledge Amy Lee is a fantastic vocalist and one of my favorite female vocalists personally, even though I'm not a huge fan of Evanescence as a whole. I think she's a really cool vocalist, and I really love this song quite a bit. This is one of my favorite piano ballad type songs. You know, you could consider Adele in the same uh, realm. But My Immortal, she just kills it on here. She's going all high over the place. Really cool and wicked vocal performance for sure. I mean, there's a reason why this is one of their most popular tunes. Because she kills it on here with an awesome vocal performance. So, My Immortal from Evanescence is going to be number six. So, for number seven, we have a top three song for me easily. Which is Songbird from Fleetwood Mac. When you look at Fleetwood Mac, everybody thinks of Stevie Nicks. I do not think of Stevie Nicks. I think of Christy McVie, who's the underrated member of Fleetwood Mac compared to Stevie and Lindsay, and maybe even Peter Green. I don't know. But Songbird has always been my favorite Fleetwood Mac song. I love the vocal performance on here from Christy McVie. She passed away earlier this year, which is really, really sad. I'll never get to hear her sing this song live. But, you know, listening to the studio version, it just crushes you every time you listen to it because it is such an emotional song. You know, really love the piano in the song, too, that she plays. She does both really well. And I believe Lindsay Buckingham plays some acoustic guitar in the background to add to it. So, you know, just overall a really well done song and an underrated Fleetwood Mac song for sure. If you look at the Rumors album, everybody thinks, oh, Dreams is such a good song. Fuck that song compared to Songbird. Songbird kicks that song in the ass, in my opinion. So Songbird from Fleetwood Mac, sung by Christy McVie, is going to be number seven. So for my number eight, of course, I had to choose something by Johnny Cash, since he's one of my all-time favorites. And I went with my favorite Johnny Cash song, which is Hurt. You know, Johnny Cash, by technical means, is not the best singer in the world. I definitely wouldn't consider him a bad singer. He's a really good singer, but not the best in the world, you know. But why I chose uh, this song, and Johnny Cash in particular, is because I feel like the simple vocal performance he gives for this song, being an old man singing these lyrics really really fits the overall vibe and mood of the song which makes it even better than maybe it should have been you know the lyrics really identified with johnny cash at this point in his life you know being an older man about to face death and such so you know hearing him sing this song you know with this vocal performance really is gut-wrenching and emotional and this is easily my second favorite song of all time under my next pick which we'll talk about and, you know, just an awesome, awesome song. You know, always been one of my favorites. Easily had to make this list at number eight. It's funny how seven, eight, and nine are my three favorite songs of all time from three, two, one. Funny how that uh, worked out. But number nine is going to be Simple Man by Leonard Skinner. You know, I'm associated with this song. Everybody knows this is my favorite song of all time. Really love the vocal performance from Ronnie Van Zant on here. This is my favorite vocal performance of all time for sure. I love the vocals on here, especially the second chorus when it gets really high up there, really wicked stuff. And the lyrics on here are my favorite lyrics of all time since I identify with them so much being a simple man myself. And, you know, not looking at, I, I don't even know how to describe it. You know, any words I say can't bring the song justice, in my opinion. Just go listen to it if you haven't before. So, uh, Simple Man by Leonard Skinner, that is going to be number nine. Number 10 is going to be my, by my favorite newer artist uh, as of now, and that is Tanner Ustry with my favorite song by him, which is Josephine. Another top 10 song for me, definitely in my top 5 favorite uh, vocal performance. You know, this is another pretty sad song. A lot of these songs I find that are more uh, on the depressing, sad side, although I wouldn't say none of them are super depressing, with the exception of this song. Uh, when you look at the meaning of the song, this is pretty much about a girl named uh, Josephine dying of a drug overdose. But the vocal performance from Tanner Ushery makes the song even more heartbreaking because the way he sings it makes you feel like Josephine was a real girl that he knew. For all I know, she could have been, and he wrote this song about her, but even if he wasn't, he does a damn good job of convincing you that this is a real story that actually happened in his life for how good and deep and emotional his vocal performance is. He killed it on this song live when I saw him live a few months back, a really wicked show. 
And, you know, just an awesome song, in my opinion. If you don't like sad songs, this probably won't be your cup of tea, but give it a listen if you haven't uh, before anyhow, because I think it's a really rocking tune. So Josephine from Tanner Ushery is going to be number 10. So those are 10 of my all-time favorite vocal performances. You know, this may not be my definitive 10, but these were the first 10 I thought of. If y'all would like to see a part 2, let me know down in the comments below. I would definitely be down to do so and give some more of my favorite vocal performances. And you all be sure to let me know down in the comments below some of your favorite vocal performances of all time. I would be very interested to hear all of y'all's different picks and interpretations on Slainers and stuff like that. So if y'all enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the Yellow YouTube channel. Got a lot more wicked shit coming y'all's way. And I would definitely appreciate it if y'all would follow me over yonder on the Instagram and would appreciate all of the support. So once you're done watching this video, listen to some of your favorite vocal performances of all time. And then go out and kick some ass.